Today, we are joining a group of community volunteers who work in Seaside's parks to transform them into havens of nature and resources for the community. The restoration of these parks include integrating bioswales. Laura Murphy from the Resource Conservation District is going to tell us briefly about bioswales, why they matter, and how to build one. Bioswales can be large. They can also be quite small and be integrated into your own yard, in your garden, or at a local park. There are many benefits to bioswales. Stormwater management, for example. Bioswales capture and slow down storm water during heavy rain events, allowing it to soak or infiltrate into the soil. Also, pollutant removal. The vegetation and soil in a bioswale filters out pollutants, improving the quality of water that eventually reaches rivers and lakes. Erosion control. By slowing water flow, bioswales help prevent soil erosion. Biodiversity support. They provide habitat for various plant and animal species. There are some basics to making a bioswale. First, simply watch. How does water flow naturally? And notice where it wants to run and pool. Dig in the soil to help facilitate more water to drain and gather in those areas. Select native plants with deep rooting systems. And before planting, add soil amendments like compost or mulch to help retain soil moisture. After planting, add sheet mulch using cardboard layered with wood chips to help further retain water and also control weeds. 